Welcome back, everybody. Farming Simulator 17 here on Autumn Oaks with your oaks with not the most, Mr. Blue. It's kind of hard getting up in this tight little place. Gotta get our eggs. Gotta get our eggs. Uh, we are currently at 12 eggs in the backpack. Go down here, folks. You'll see trees cut down. Five. Yes, I have cut down five trees. That's right. And I'm fixing to go show y'all. But first, but first, we gotta get somebody working on the plow. Uh, there's one tree I cut down. This big one right here. I'd get more sun on my house. There's a little piece right there I forgot to pick up. I gotta remember that. Let me put this over here. Where I remember to pick it up later. Alright, as you can see, I got the combine back up in here and the cultivator and got the planter here. Um, I'm going to have to take out a loan, folks. I just don't have enough money. As you can see, I'm down to 4000 now. Uh, I did buy a disc for a plow. Um, finally get these right I don't know how they put these in there but that door there does not open um, or pick my truck up over here all right we're gonna go out to our tractor here if I can remember how to get out to it and we'll get up there to it um, let's see here. We can go this way. You can see that yellow dot on the main map right there. Yeah. That's where we're going. I did get some of that plowed. Uh, the plowization is very, very different. Oop, there's our turn. That's a farm for sale. I believe that is field 11. And there's nine. Whoa. Keep my eyes on the road. And there's field 10. Small field. Well, folks, check this out. This is nothing but an alfalfa field. Okay, I'm not going to drive on it right now. Well, just going to drive on the edge of it here. And you see right here, you, you look out across there, you can see where I plowed a little strip around the edge. But as we get up in here, it don't look that much difference. Can y'all tell the difference? Right there, center of the truck. Left side's been plowed, right side has not. Now we're going to hire a worker on this guy here and hopefully he'll do all right. I'm going to show you all real quick. Let's check the oil and stuff. Yep, everything is good. Show you all the disc here. Well, let's walk around and look at it. The way it folds up, that's a John Deere 220 disc. It's really an old, old-timey antique disc. This side here folds up and over on this side, and the tongue moves over when you transport it down the road. But to the, take a look on the on the map here real quick, you can kind of see where it had soybeans, and I done done like a little bit here and here and here and here. But I didn't do this area right here. Why did I not do that? Well, folks, you can see right there, the this color blue is a uh, cloud and the purple is harvest. This part right here that's purple 
on this field belongs to these fields. Um, I'm just hoping this alfalfa field right here, and I want to show y'all, I'm going to take the grass. See, this is alfalfa here. I hope that belongs to us. But these fields up here, see, we got three strips of alfalfa here. And that would be belonging to us because I went up there and plowed. And then you see the plow is red. I've done this strip and this strip and a strip over here. And it did not tell me uh, on the field. So went down here to this and I was able to plow so far all this here. And folks, I've done this on this field here, around this corner here. It's been plowed. All this here has been plowed, that's green. And this has been plowed here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Use my mouse, it works a little bit better. Now, you see right here, all that's been plowed. I plowed right here, and then I'm just done. See these little marks here? All this across here. To this mark everything on this side here I can plow but I can't plow this big part so I'm like okay so same here and go to here and go down and I can plow this little strip here by the road and this but I figured I'd just leave that alone until I buy this here but I was able to buy I mean not buy but plow this area here so you know we're just gonna say that this is part his land and this is part mine so we'll, we'll just plant it like that and uh, I guess I own all these across the top and probably these here so that's a lot of field work and uh, we just need bigger tractors now uh, I do want to buy some sheep because right now wool prices are outrageous we have four thousand three hundred sixteen dollars that's going down um wood chips are going down which i need to go sell that real quick so let's get this guy started ah i hit the wrong button now the way i do this folks i, I just my gps Uh, okay. I don't know why that popped way over there. Alrighty. Well, that's the course I was running, so. Oop, gotta go forward. But to show y'all this, this, how it does. not too much difference in the texture but I think I'm gonna like it but we're gonna hire a worker oh whoa, 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 wait 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 I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how this folds too you see how that folds well, that's something right there but hey it's pretty cheap I think I paid like six thousand for it so we can't beat that but I gotta go in here. Um, we gotta turn that off. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna hire a worker. He'll go straight up and down. Uh, we got Kato. Okay. We got Kato working for us. Which I know I shouldn't hire a worker out, but, you know, kind of need to, folks. Whoa! Go forward and get up and go. Alright, we're going to go through here. And this takes us backside of the uh, dairy farm. Pretty nice road here.
Ah, oh, there's a road go that way. Cool. I'm going to this because comes right out of dairy farm. I'm going to cut out around this way. kind of like how they got this road. Well, folks, I, I'm going to apologize. You know how y'all doing today? I got to ask. I am doing pretty good myself. I uh, just want to get a little bit of this going on for y'all. Uh, fix and go show y'all the next project. Why? Um, yesterday I was talking to the guy, and this is the same date as y'all seen last episode, by the way. I want to apologize about that, but this is going to probably go through two or three days. Um, take this truck to the market shop and we're going to sell it. It's just not my style, folks, but I got talking to the guy up here, um, for the bank guy. Um, he won't let us have a million dollars, but, but he will grant us a hundred and fifty thousand yeah a hundred and fifty thousand folks so I tell him okay okay so we're gonna go and uh, open this door up here there we go Pull the truck up in there. He wants to see what's wrong with it. We'll have to fix it apart and then we can sell it. Just about to shut it off. Um, what? Can't see what that says. Let me raise up a little bit. Outgoing machinery and returns okay and he might not be open oh yep alright we can go ahead and sell it for 31,000 I'm gonna sell it folks but I really don't need it alright um let's go to our menu here Uh, we already got a loan of a hundred thousand. He said we can have a hundred and fifty thousand loan, so oh, 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 oh. all right, that's a hundred and fifty thousand right there. And uh, we're going to check out loan. Okay. Well, we only got eighty one thousand. Wait a minute, uh, I borrowed more money than that. I borrowed more money than that. Uh, it won't let me take out no more. Oh man, I bet you they took the other loan and paid it. Uh, that's what they did. Well, I ain't gonna be able to get no equipment with that. Well, I'm gonna need a good tractor and a good planter. Um, let's take a look at the tractors real quick. I know I ain't gonna be able to. Oh man, that's gonna that's gonna really put me behind. That's gonna get a pretty decent looking tractor too.
I'll tell you what, we can at least for 23,000. Thirty-five thousand. Uh, I might need to go smaller. Might need to go smaller. Well, I'm gonna stop it right here, folks. I'm gonna uh, decide what I can get, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're already like sixteen minutes in, so I'll be right back. All right, folks, I am back, and it's getting kind of late, so I'm going to have to hurry up. Um, just to shut the tractor off for a second, I got the 4960, but it wasn't the one I wanted. I wanted one with the weights on the front, but they didn't have none in stock, so went ahead and went with this. All this is leased, too, by the way. Uh, this is a bell, round bell carrying system here is the cheapest one they had uh, water trailer uh, Great Plains the, the try the try one whatever it's called the, the biggest one and then I uh, got the John Deere small one I, I think I actually bought this and it's the 8350 John Deere green drill so we can plant some beans and stuff um, so yeah um, today we couldn't hop in this one. Hmm. 8,400. Hey, it's, you should drive one this lock like at, besides the 4960. But anyway, folks, um, we're missing one more thing I forgot to get. And we're right here at it. Um, this is going to take a big chunk of the money. Um, try and see if we have one just a little bit smaller, but I guess we're going to go with the, uh, This one runs 18 mile an hour. Let's go with it. We're going to lease it for 43000 And that's going to take all of our money, folks. That's all right, because we're going to hopefully make some money. So, yeah. Um, where, where's right down here? Let's get the Ponzi Scorpion. Uh... Try to figure out how to maybe I gotta turn it out. Ah yeah, I gotta turn it out and then it's why. I want these to be eight meter logs so the truck can pick it up. Alright, well let's get going. Uh I already got a uh, tractor loaded. Um uh, these people are going to hate me because I'm going to fix it across their yard. I'm going to get this sucker here to follow me. Right, control F. Back about 20. And let's turn our lights and flashers on. Whatever we got. Make sure ain't nothing coming. Um, yeah, I'm going right. We gotta go down to that blue dot down there, folks. What the deal is here? Hope y'all can hear me over the noise of this thing. Is this it? Yeah, this turn. We got, uh, this dude said we can clear out the trees to help him out. Because they're going to build something back here. I forgot what he said, but it might be some farmland. I don't know. But he said if we clear the trees out, we can have whatever wood we want to go sell up 
up north there at that wood place. So I'm like, heck yeah, huh? Talk to God at the shop. So yeah, I can get you a Ponzi working down here. Uh, trailer to load in. And, uh, but it finally came in, so that's why I got this. And, uh, we just got across this creek here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Open the other truck. I mean, tractor don't have a problem crossing it. Loaded. Uh, we got to buy a stump cutter. We got to clear our stumps out too. Uh, but we'll do that later. But as you can see, right over here, I already started. Old Blue there. Got him loaded. So, folks, we shouldn't be hurting. Uh, once I stay up all night, let me shut this motor off. I need to get, I guess I can just leave it right here. But as you can see on the map there, ain't too far from here up there. So we get loaded, get both of them loaded. Uh, take them at, at the same time, it shouldn't be that much of a deal. Uh, you know, there's going to be some hard work. Shut my lights off. You can see right over here, it's cutting these up. And this is kind of nerve wracking trying to get them all in here where they'll stay. But, yeah, um, that Kato dude's going to work for a while. And I'm going to work for a while. Uh, probably get the uh, rest of this trailer loaded and get that trailer loaded. And uh, I will be right back, alright? Alright, well, I finally got the trailer loaded. And that was rough getting that other tractor across that slough there. I don't know if this 4960 is going out of power or not. It's struggling. So, uh, y'all wish me luck. Here we go. Why have we hit it wide open? Alright, here we go. Full speed. We're dropping fast wheel or dropping fast wheel or not going to make it three mile an hour folks two we got tires spinning over there look at the tire spinning oh oh we made it all right we made it all right we're gonna have Jim Bob to follow us and uh, we're going to take the Ford it's actually faster but this got loose stuff on it so I want to be extra extra careful Jim Bob following. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't see my little cat. Oh, no. Oh, no. They all fail. Let's see if I can. Come on. Put some of these back on real quick. I knew I was going too fast. I just knew I was going too fast. Whoa. 
Whoa. Oh man. I want to get these small ones because I'm afraid I'll miss them. And if I miss them, they'll be lagging. I lag, I lag, I lag. Hopefully that knock none out. Oh god, this is a pretty good size heavy one. That went too far. I should have known. Alright, well. Grab it from a distance, it'll be all right. I will say. I got two more, looks like. Oh, that might stay. It's going to be real, real, real slow going out of here. I'm on. There we go. They're probably laughing at me up here at the shop yard. Alright, that looks like all of them. Don't look like I miss any. We're gonna go real slow out of here. Alright, we on this highway, we should be alright. Turn our flashers on and our hazards since it's real late. I hope we get up there before they close. Oh, oh, uh, log rolling. Stay, buddy. Stay right there. Let's see. Get our map pulled up. We're going to go on down pretty good ways. Whoa. Don't want to go too fast. Get too far away. The 49 to follow me will start acting crazy so we don't want that especially around this bridge here so folks I, I'm kind of sorry this is kind of late night working I know it's probably hard to see uh, maybe it's not too hard to see but this is still just day one on autumn oaks um, probably going to skip day two uh, we need to get a fertilizer buggy and fertilize, but that's going to take a lot of money, so we probably won't do that this time around. But I do want to get some sheep. And as you can see, we are minus $700. So, yeah. Alright, we're going down pretty quick. That must be because of the other guy. Uh, Kato working but we do need him working because you know we got to do this and he's helping us out because we got a lot of ground to cope I mean to plow to dust up um, still got all field one and the other field next to that to go alright nobody coming which there is no traffic on this but I know a lot of y'all like to see that. I'm gonna try to be realistic. Um, 
I'm going to try to the best of my knowledge to be realistic. I know we're probably cutting the left some of these logs, but you got to do what you got to do, right? All right, folks, when we get up here and sell this two loads, I'm going to end uh, the episode and uh, y'all let me know. Let's see. What should, what tractor should I buy next? Should we go all John Deere? Should we go some case or should we go uh, a mixture? Um, did I done pass? No, I'm coming up to it. Okay. 4960s following us. That's good. Now they got the lights on, so I don't know if they're going to be closed or what. So let's try to stay on their driveway here. Let them know we're out here. I don't know how we swing that big one around. Might need to start bringing wood chips. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You missed her. We're through. Alright, let's uh see we can dump here, shall we? Oh, that was Boo. That was following us instead of Jim Bob. I think we are jammed up back here real bad. Let's see if I can. better opening than, than this here. We need a bigger trailer. We're going to haul this way. I'm uh, almost there. Keep going, keep going. Ah! See, now this is not realistic, but in a way it could be. Let's see if I can shake it again. Now I want to see if I can tip this trailer a different way. See if that'll help out. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, much better. We'll just start tipping it that way. That got us up to five thousand. 
take this butter here around and uh, let's go ahead and shut him off for a temporary. Ah, boo left the flashers going. It'll be alright. At least here we got auto unload, so. Alright, we're going to change sides and then X. And there's our money, boys and girls. 24000 dollars and out of the hole. So roughly about twenty-five thousand. We'll have to go back and get some more. Well I'll go back and get some more. Well this is gonna conclude this episode folks. I wanna thank each and every one of y'all for watching and just being there. Love and support and all that's really been wonderful. Uh I think what I'm going to do is just keep on doing what I'm doing. Just get another couple loads of logs and try to work on paying that loan back. And uh, I might do some of the plowing and stuff myself. Let's go check and see what Jim Bob actually got left. Oh, yeah, all the way over. I just got to do the strips where you turn around. Let's take a look real quick before we leave. Um, oh yeah, Kato, Kato done good. Look at there. Uh, get my mouse. So I just got to finish that strip and these right here. And then um, I guess I can probably need to come back down here and finish this. This is where I was working and then I got curious and like, you know, I need to go up here and do this and this and that. So uh, I'm going to plow as much as I can. Uh, probably put, you know, a hired worker back on this here. That way I can do the logs and stuff and try to get a couple more loads. But folks, um, that's where we're standing at. I'm going to buy some sheeps with this money here. But I'm also going to need some bales. I, I, I got the water trailer. I just need a couple bales of grass. So I'll probably... I'll probably do that on the next episode. Let's do that on the next episode. That way I'll be a little bit more money situated. Uh, I actually think I'm going to take and put this money that I just got into paying that loan off. So I can get a bigger loan, right? Anyway, folks, once again, thank you for watching. I love each and every one of y'all, and I will see y'all next time here on Autumn Oaks, Mr. Blue. Bye.